pretty much perfect weather here in the park right now. Yeah, it really is. It's beautiful. Yeah. No wind either. No. It's just ideal conditions. All right, Frankie. Yeah. You got my table ready? I did. Check this out, guys. It's I got actually rid of some sap. It's actually sap, not poop. Mhm. Mm you should taste it. Yeah, just to confirm. <laughs> A little That's bit sap. more there. That's sap, yeah. Taste it. Frankie was using my, uh, well, well, we'll show him in a little bit. That's it's, all wet. It smells like you, sap. You actually tasted it? Okay. <laughs> you weirdo. It didn't really taste like anything. <laughs> all right. <laughs> so this is a video here on a knife, Frankie. <laughs> Imagine that. Well, it is. I know. This is the best tech. What is it called? It's the Escra. Escra. I wanted to call it the kombu for a second. No, Escra. It's the Escra. I actually wanted to call it the uh, Ornetta, Ornetta actually for a second. No, yeah. you would be right. so wrong. I wouldn't be that wrong. Okay. Yeah. What we're getting at here is this is a designer for Best Tech. What is his name? Gregors. Oh, Gregors. Yeah. I'm going to say Gregors, but there's some Z's in there. I'll put the spelling down here. It's Gregors Grabowski. Grabarski. Grabarski? Yeah. Hopefully we're saying that like halfway. Yeah, we're not butchering it at all. In the realm. <laughs> yeah, but this is his design for Best Tech. Yeah. And I didn't really realize he's got two or three other, maybe four or five other. Some of your favorites. Designs for Best Tech. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Um, we'll get into that in a little bit. But yeah. Um, yeah, check this guy out on Instagram. He looks very interesting. Yeah, very artistic <laughs> photos too yes excellent photography on his mm -hmm. instagram page so definitely he gets check a that word out for yeah, yeah. so Artistic. frankie this yeah. is one of our blade show 2019 acquisitions yes it is yeah we were looking at all the new best tech stuff we wanted a high-end best tech actually you know i forgot to bring it what um, we did get the shinkansen yeah Shin, the bullet train the bullet train yeah right that's, that's the one i picked out that's a sweet knife yeah we should have brought that here just for mm -hmm. high-end comparison yeah but, you um, forgot it I did, I did. It's all right, it's all right. We should go home and get it. <laughs> Just scrap this footage. Yes. Yeah. throw this in the garbage. <laughs> yeah, all right. No, that's a great knife that we also picked up uh, from Best Tech, from Blade Show. And yeah, so this represents the premium end mm -hmm. of the Best Tech line. And premium end, what's the price there, Frankie? Um, it is $254. $254 for a Chinese knife? What? <laughs> <laughs> it's not cheap is it no it's not cheap um is it nice oh yeah it's very nice mm -hmm. yeah okay so the escra there are okay so 254 dollars there's i think probably five or six different varieties there is quite a few and then you add should i straight go right into it there's left-handed versions of it too so you could add that there's even more varieties this is a full right handy knife mm -hmm. yeah, right handy yeah they have <laughs> full left-handed versions of this knife currently at blade hq it looks like they were sold out yes there was the three left-hand knives that three left-hand people bought i was going to say either they're extremely popular <laughs> and sought after um, or maybe they were just only made two or three of them yeah <laughs> Yeah, but $254 for any of the varieties. This is, of course... The right-hand version. No, the murdered out shell. Oh, the murdered out shell, yeah. Yeah. Um, there's only a little bit of extra color on here. The little bit of pivot color color. With the gold. Mm -hmm. I think some of the other ones might use the gold. Yeah, they are. A lot of them have the gold, actually. Yeah. Um, maybe we'll be showing a photo of some, some of the other photos. varieties. But yeah, there's, um, there's what, blue and green and... Gold, gray, blue black and then this one yeah, yeah yeah so and all of them might have a different color some of them have matching um clips and some of them don't yeah you might get an opposing color yeah. on the clip depending on the version mm -hmm. you choose and then blade so with that uh three and a half inch blade i think it's exactly three and a half inches you're either going to get exactly this exactly three and a half yeah okay we work with specs what's <laughs> weird about that i don't even get what we're well, trying to make it i was thinking like exactly four inches Exactly three inches. It's exactly three and a half. Three and a half. Does that sound weird or it something? It does a little bit. I don't get it. Oh, no, whatever. we work okay. in specs, okay. and this is this is like four years into this channel, and now it's weird. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> okay. No, you either get the stone wash, regular stone wash blade, or this black coated stone wash yes. blade, which I think looks excellent. Yeah. I like the murdered out child version, yeah. but it's like a weathered murdered out. Right. Yeah. So it's so, like no super super black and even on the tie scales there you can kind of see it's like a bronzy yeah. 
highlight to it. There is a little bit of weatheredness to it, so it, mm -hmm. you can start pocketing this knife immediately and yeah. just not, not really care so much. It wears yeah. well. I mean, it is a $250 knife. Mm -hmm. For some of you, this will represent the top end of the budget. Yeah. For some of you, it'll represent a knife that you're not you're not there yet buying, mm -hmm. you know, price, uh, knives of prices uh, like this. Um, for some of you, this is like a heavy user because your knives are $1,000. Yeah, you know? no kidding. Yeah, all different types. So yeah, where was I going with that? Okay, the blade itself, M390. Yes. Are we all agreeing that M390 is kind of the current king of blade steels? Or queen. Queen, yeah. yeah. I gotta check, um, I gotta check Cedric's channel a little oh, bit more. Oh yeah, and see Pete. what it's like. Pete, yeah. Yeah, he's the, he's the blade steel guru. Mm -hmm. Also a uh, super steel, Steve. Yeah. yeah. It but feels anyways. really good in hand, because even though it's a bigger, bigger blade, bigger handle, bigger, bigger knife, length, really, yeah. Um, but it's very thin right here, so right. my finger wraps around it really well. <laughs> I mean, right? yeah, right, yeah. like right here, it wraps around yeah. it. Let's show that. So it works in your hand. Now I can get the full four finger grip on the handle in a standard grip position here. Very comfortable knife. Um, Got some jumping to jumping get your is thumb on. feels a little sharp, but I mean in a good way. It, it's it's functional, mm -hmm. is what I'm saying. Sharp like in like the blade edge way. Um, like you want yeah. it to be sharp. My my thumb is bleeding now. Yeah. <laughs> now and a full size finger choil, right? So if you want to choke up, it's excellent. Yeah. It's perfect if you want to scrape at some. And it has like a angle sap. to it. That. There's a constant flow. Yes, that kind of goes with cutting. Like the it goes with it. cutting. Well, that probably made sense in your mind. In my mind, it made sense. <laughs> it does. Uh, we've got a little bit of cutting on this <laughs> knife, and it's excellent. It's excellent. Um, blade stock thickness, I want to say, is 0.15 on that. Well, I guess I'm going to test you. We can confirm. Yeah, yeah. I'm going to just so it's maybe slightly see on the if thicker you're right. end. Slightly on the thicker end. 0.14. Not even you're that. You're completely wrong. Not even that bad, though. Yeah. How much is the handle thickness? Um, thicker. Doesn't it feel a little thicker? Girthy? 0.57. Yeah, so, he's got yeah, some girth to him. That is actually an important note about the Eskra models. A little bit thicker on the handle scales. Yeah. Which I've always said thin carries well, okay. But if, say you have larger hands, uh, a, uh, you know, a thicker handle like this uses well. It uses nicely. Well, There's more to grab though, to. Well, even though, like the ratio could say that, you could say that it's actually less than others because it's very thin. So even though it's thick this way, mm -hmm. it's thin this way so you can grip into it. True. Compared to, say, this example here. It's the Civivi It's Naja. Raja? Not Naja. Not super thin, but it's really wide this way. Right, right. So, I see what you're saying. You know what yeah. I mean? So you can yep. really grab into it. Yeah, yeah. So, There's yeah. a spot, uh, spot. <laughs> There's a spot in the height where it's very narrow. Mm -hmm. Yes, yeah. yeah. Let's get this out of here. Yeah, it doesn't he's belong. Ugly. Okay. Oh, I know why. Okay, so this blade shape. Oh, yeah. Actually, somewhat similar. It kind of is. So we were both saying uh, there's a word that comes to mind when we see this blade shape. Bulbous. Bulbous. <laughs> Probably more so on that knife. Yeah. It's got my edge on it. Ooh, it's shiny. I got some sap with that one too. See? Did you? <laughs> Frankie was using my knives. There it is. Frankie was using my knives on this sap. <laughs> Stop doing that. What am I supposed to use? She used my KME edge and then she used this <laughs> knife. So if we're talking high-end Chinese production knives, here's the Wii well, 601. Well, that Tanto worked nicely. She used this. It was fine. Satin grind right there uh, uh, on, the, on, the, on the sap there. Yeah. Whatever. So uh, aren't exactly. I supposed to use the knives? All right. There you go. But. Yes, of course you are. I know. But use this one. The Fanga. Well, speaking of that, we may as well leave this one out. So, about the same price. Can you still get 601s? I think. Mm, I don't know if you can. It was the very first Wee Knives production knife. That's just um, crazy. These are kind of rival companies. I'm gonna say like mm -hmm. if you know if Wee Knives is is BMW, then Best Tech might be Audi. That kind of thing. Mm -hmm. You know what I mean? So the 601, yeah, about the same price, 650. I want to see them brawl it out. Brawl it out. Yeah. 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 What else? There's other. The Ornetta, that's the same designer. Yes. That's one that I also want. We checked it out at Blade Show. Um, but yeah, the Fanga. The Fanga is his design too. I really love this knife. If you guys like big folders, check out the Fanga. Mm -hmm. Okay, and it's more down towards the budget end as in 80, 80 bucks or and so. And $102, depending yeah, on the model. Yeah, that's right. 
check out our video on this knife, but this, same designer. Mm -hmm. Same designer, same company, everything. So, this knife is butter smooth. Isn't yeah, it? Yeah, is. It's hydraulic. Mm -hmm. It's hydraulic. Yeah, it really is. And it's surprising because it's such a huge knife. I think you can get that with some with a good, uh, with a well done action um, and a heavy blade. There's just a good combo there. Yeah. Um, not to say that this is not a good action. It's, yeah, you love it, this action. It's pretty standard. It's I would compare You like it, the bulbous action. Bulbous, yeah. Mm -hmm. I would compare it really to the 601 in action, yeah. which is excellent, right? Oh, and there's the flipper tab with some jimping. See that kind of cut out right here mm -hmm. for your finger? It makes light switching. <laughs> <laughs> I did it wrong. I'm looking through the camera and I'm like, yeah, I know. Uh, all right, no, it makes light switching very easy, uh, okay? Yeah. Mm -hmm. You don't really, you can push button it. But yeah, it's more of a light switch knife. Um, the cutout, can you middle flick it? Kind of a stiff detent. <laughs> no. I can, I can, but not probably. Yeah. Uh, you got a halfy. There. It was kind of pathetic though. <laughs> you got it Shut out, up. but it was kind of like, That's yeah. Don't <laughs> don't read into that. <laughs> There's the centering, it's perfect. There's no blade play or anything like that. When you're talking best tech, even on their inexpensive knives, the $50 yeah. like Kendo and stuff, it's perfect centering, it's no blade play, it's a solid Yeah, uh, the fit quality and finish. is really good on Yeah, them. so best tech uh, really impressed us, I think probably a little over a year ago is when we start, started mm -hmm. getting into them. But yeah, we probably have we probably have good 10 or 12 in our collection now. I like the, well, and I, I guess now that I think about it, when you look at the guy's Instagram picture, pictures, this, you can uh, tell Gregor's? like the artistic styling that goes into his designs, like the lineage. Yes. And how they line up together. Even he, you know, like the line that goes through here. I don't know. There's flow to it. Gregor's yes. or Kambu, as he might be known, it seems like. Um, I'm glad we uh, have kind of discovered his designs mm -hmm. and, and kind of tied him to, you know, in this case, Best Tech. It, him it looks as like, a person. As a person, yeah. yeah. I guess you could say we've officially discovered him, even though we've had the knives before. But. Yeah, thank you. Oh, he's also got that, that Tanto that we looked at at Blade Show. Yes, the one that, it was a prototype and we couldn't get it. Don't remember the name and it may not have had a name at the time, but we couldn't no, get it. it yeah. Was, it was goldy. Really cool, kind of extravagant, bigger tanto, yeah. but it yeah. was cool. It was really cool. Um, oh, what's the weight on this knife? We should check oh, that check on the out. Escra model. Yeah, but yeah, you guys, if this is too expensive for you, check out the Fanga. It's awesome. We have a video on it, so just search Birdshot IV. Fanga. Fanga. See, even I say it these days. I say IV. It's four. Four point nine seven. Four point nine seven. So right under just, five ounces. Just under five ounces. What's uh -huh. this one? 4.82. Wow, even lighter. Yeah, that's crazy. Yeah, but uh, if this is too much for you and you're still here in the video, why don't you have a Fanga? Yeah, you should have a Fanga. Probably because it's too big. Yeah, some of you are going to say monstrous. it's too big. Yeah. Not what she said. What else did we bring to um, compare? We brought in the Subvert if we wanted subvert. to make him little. See, that's okay. got that same kind of blade style a little bit. It's, it's Kukuri esque. A little bit, isn't Minus it? the. Giant jungle re. kukri, yeah, yeah, yeah so minus, the re. minus the re, minus the re, curve. Yeah, there you go. Yeah, yeah, that's true. What else did we bring? You brought the ZT. What that's is this? The nine twenty. Nine twenty. Yeah. Plus George. Yeah, that's about uh, two twenty. I think they did. They discontinue those. Yes, they did. I think they did. Which is weird. Yeah, it was a little weird. That's but, a good knife. Mm -hmm. And Great. then they keep other ones that are just confusing to me. Great action on these knives. Anything yeah. else? Oh, and the Wii uh, six hundred one. Yeah. Yeah, so the premium Wii knives, you know, that's kind of where <clears throat> that's kind of where Best Tech is is uh, is fitting in with their premium knives. Really, the, you know, you can compare them to the high end Wii knives. I'm digging in. Oh, what are you carrying? What do you got here? What is that one? Oh, Todd Beg, or sorry, <laughs> sorry, Beg knives. Beg knives. Yeah, yeah. I always want to call this well, a mini go, bodega, but let's it's not. Let's go ahead and put it on the table. What is this one called? That is mini the, glimpse. That's the mini glimpse. I love that knife. Love it. Yeah. Um, actually, price range. I think you can get these for that now. Maybe. Yeah. Oh, maybe that's even right. less. You can kind of, huh? Yeah. 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 Really good stuff here, though. Lots of good knives on the table. All right. I think we're gonna call that good, Frankie. Mm -hmm. I need to get a walk. Ooh, in. wait, wait a second. What? Shouldn't I test the sharpness of it? Oh shoot! I gotta start folding knives. Mm -hmm. I'll leave this one 
here. Put that one back in. We've got one bottle. Guys, don't get used to this. Don't get used to this mm -hmm. because it's gonna be, I don't know, February and we're gonna degrees. be we're gonna be out here doing a park we're review. We're gonna be in the house and we're, not, we're gonna be slicing bottles. We can't do a bottle slashing in every video. Slicing bottles and taking names. Okay. There we go. Okay. Now this one's not this is a refill. Ooh. I filled it to the top. Recycling. Yeah, yeah, there we go. In in action. All right. You know what's funny? Hmm. Is that I'm gonna do it like this and it's gonna go all over you. Let me sh I don't think so. I think so. That's my bet. So here you go for a size comparison. You probably could cut this in half. We'll see if my skills will pay the bills. <laughs> there you go. Now, there you go. now it's like, uh-oh. <laughs> Look what I brought, though. A towel. towel. <laughs> <laughs> okay, ready? All right, do a good slash. And, and remember to stop somewhere in here. <clears throat> okay. Dude! I got it. Nice job. Thanks. I didn't think you were going to get it. Skills to pay the bills. Yeah. Chill. <laughs> Never doubt a Frankie. Don't Sweet. doubt a Frankie. All right, with that, we're going to close it out. Hopefully, there's no D2 out here. Uh -uh. Actually, I think that is. Uh-oh. Uh -uh. <laughs> no, he it's didn't fine. get wet. He actually did not get wet. Sweet. All right. Good. Nice job, though. Thank here, you. let's set it down. Let's go. Let's go like this. There we go. There you go. That's maybe the shot. Mm-hmm. The money shot. The money shot. <laughs> All right. Thanks a lot for joining us.